Hey guys and girls, it's Kossif here, and today in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the visual updates we've done around cities and some areas such as the wilderness. So what I mean by visual updates is the sky and the fog around cities. I'll give you a quick demonstration right now. So as you can see I'm in Lumbridge, and throughout all the videos you've seen this type of sky with these uh, bluish tinty fog so we've changed this for each city but keeping it the same with some so we're keeping the defaults for Lumbridge so it's not always something different everywhere you go so I've kept it for Lumbridge because Lumbridge is sort of a um, you know it's like a neutral city well town whatever you want to call it um, apart from the west not west, um, east with goblins I think it's still a nice sky I know it's quite hard to look up at the sky with this camera angle but it also matches the desert side of the map as you can see so yeah I'm going to go through some demonstrations of some of the more cities and by that I'll be using some codes so let's go with debug mode this is basically um, cheats or commands both are the same thing if you want to call them that Good day. I'm just going to be going to different areas um, area 1 so I've oh, it took me about um, 4 hours to work on this and I'm going to go through each detail of what I did and why I did it and hopefully you'll see the difference okay so we're in Alcarid now so as you can see it's way much different compared to Lumbridge we have the orange and beige tinted sky with the beige fog as well as the dust I'm not quite sure you would be able to see it on um, the YouTube video because of the um, it's really quite hard to see for me but you know it's there you can see it but there's um, dust um, going around the city so the reason why I made it not orangey is because of the fact that it is a deserty city and there's a huge desert south of the um, Alcrid which is the Shanty Pass and it also sort of matches it also blends in with the um, walls so like um with the dust blowing around you know the walls and the floor are going to be dusty with sand and such so if I just run over to one of these paths let's go to the main you know there's bits of sand spewed around so it's it's a nice small detail it also makes Alcrid unique you know, you're not going to walk into our crib and it's like perfect blue sky. It's going to be totally different because it's in the desert. Wow, on the edge of the desert. So that's our crib. I think I did a good job of it. Let's just get a nighttime view of it. Um, let's go to 12 hours. Okay, so this is the nighttime version instead of the sky being a really bright orangey you know bright orange sky I've made it I don't know why it goes really 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 um you know pure color right above but on the edges is where you're mostly going to be looking at so if you're running like that you can see the edges see I've made it um, a tint of red so like um something you'll be seeing in the morning or when the sun setting in real life. So yeah, it may be too red, but that's just the above bit. But on the edges, it's nice. So let's just put the time back. Um, let's go. Um, let's go six hours. 
there we go. It's sort of the morning now. Midday. Yeah, midday. Okay, let's go to the next area. And also, these codes will only be usable by admins such as me and Colton. Um, I think I have to. Yeah, I'm gonna need to drink an invisible potion on this bit. As I think I am going somewhere Good dangerous. Day. Okay. Yep. Um, I sort of forgot where I'm actually going in each of the areas, so. Ooh. Yep, I know where I'm at. If I can find a way out of this place. <sighs> you probably might not have heard that. If that's say a greater demon going after the person I just teleported to. <laughs> and he's gonna die. Right. So this is the wilderness, which is the demonic ruins, the normal fist. Uh, north east part of the wilderness I believe by the wilderness ditch I can show you the ditch not um ditch the um border of the free to play you can see it's quite really hard to see I'm not quite sure you'll be able to see it again in the video but as you can see it's really visual of the wilderness is much harder to see and this is because I've talked about it in my wilderness building video um, the further you go into the wilderness, the harder it is, such as monsters, well, already is harder in RuneScape. But the um, visual is also going to be harder. So as you can see, south of here is just the lava maze, but there's no much more detail to that. And this is just the ruin. So, yeah, this is the wilderness. Now it's black skies, black fog, hard to see. That's pretty basic for wilderness I believe so yeah uh, apologies if you do not well if you cannot see the you can actually see actually any of this I really uh, for some reason YouTube and this game hate the darkness right so like some of uh, when we were just recording well when we first started recording we used to record at night and such then when we did actually finally get to upload the whole video was just ruined <laughs> here free ah oh my god what is it doing this? it bugged like this last time let me rest a minute there we go there we go it's because I was invisible <laughs> Okay, so the next area, I'm not quite sure. So, bear with me. <laughs> ah, it is Al Karid. Okay, so this is one of the maps I actually loved remaking. I'm not, no, you cannot see the volcano yet. Um, so, comparing it to Lumbridge, if you remember Lumbridge, if not, just rewind a bit. It's the um, blue, it's the pure blue sky. So, Caramanjar, I don't, you can sort of see why it can have blue sky with it being tropical. But then again, you you can understand why you can't have it. So, if I just look up here, you'll see the huge volcano which Colton created. So, what I did was I just added more smoke on top of it. As you can see, it goes right up into the air. And so that smoke, you know, it's going to be a huge volcano. It's not going to be pure <laughs> blue skies around it. So we've got this smoky, fiery atmosphere of Karamanjar. If I just get to the top. Whoop. I love the lava detail of this rock. <laughs> it's actually a mod which Colton found and downloaded for the volcano, but it looks great. See, as you see, it's the um, lava, you can't get into it. And it's creating this huge smoke, which is, you know, s making the fog and atmosphere of Karamanjar much, much 
harder to see. So, yeah, you can see really thick brownish fog. So that's Caraman Jar. I actually loved remaking this because it was actually really nice to do. Let me just see it in night time because I actually haven't seen it in night time before. Okay, this is um... I'm not quite sure what time is this. Um, let's just assume it's midnight or something. So yeah, this is... <laughs> Let me just try fix the time, because I'm unsure on that. Uh, let's go for... Okay, this is sort of midnight now. You can see... Yeah, the sun setting, not sun up, <laughs> the moon setting. So you're going to just see a small bit of moon reflection and the shadow from the moon. The vo huge volcano blocks the this side of the tropical area, so it's going to be really dark here, as you can see. We probably can't see because of YouTube. But yeah, if I look up to the volcano now, it's got that lovely, well, not really lovely since it's a volcano, that's the water. It's got that really nice atmosphere of a volcano, the dangerous fire, the smoke, and the light coming out of it. Yeah, I look. That's really nice of. I know. I've, I'm proud of Caramel Jar. Let's just fix the time. Um, six. Okay, and we're back at day. As you can see. Right, um, let's go to the next area. Good day. Um, four. I think I've got seven areas to show you. So at the moment we're only going to be doing this on the cities. Well, it's already been done on the cities. Places like Falador and Edgeville are going to be the same as um, Lumbridge with the same bluish sky. So here we are at Port Sarum. It's not really a huge difference, but it makes a difference. <laughs> so if I look up now, you will have CV. There's really much less clouds here. So it's because it's by the sea. There's going to be less more pollution from the chimneys and other stuff such as um. Whilst normal stuff you get fires from, from the you know um. Say like Varrock, and Varrock is here, and I will show you that in a bit. But also different from this is the further you can see. So normally, if I was in, um, let's say, Karamanjar, I couldn't see past that house there, where the door is. But now I can see past the house behind it. So it's because of, you know, there's hardly much cloud, so there's going to be much less. Um, fog. So there's not really much about Port Sarum, but it, you know, it makes a difference. It's a nice, different scene. So let's go to the next area. Good day! It's five. Um, I think there's six areas, in fact, not seven, since I started in Lumbridge. I think this is Varrock. Yes, it's Varrock. Right. I've also made Varrock really different from. It's um, it's sort of really nice to do because um, in RuneScape it has no day and night cycles, so everything's day. You know that. <laughs> Apart from the fog color, that's not really much important. So with Varrock, I've made it sort of gloomy and dark. So as you can see. The sky is like black, well not black, uh, grey with the beige clouds. And the fog is the greyish colour. There we go. See the grey type. This is because um, Varrock is a huge city. One of the hugest cities in the game. Apart from Adoing. <laughs> I, really, I really didn't want to say that word. But I think I'll say it. So, 
as I was saying, so Varrock is like a slummish type of city, you know, it's packed with um, houses, chimneys, and you've got these slums, then you've got the huge other buildings such as banks, the warehouses, the shops as well. So there's going to be a lot of stuff going on, so I've sort of made it more dark, and by dark I mean the floorish. It's hard to sort of say. Uh, so it's because the clouds are grey and such, the light on the floor is going to be dark as well, so instead of this, I'm not quite sure if you can see the difference or not. But you know, look at Varrock now, and then look at the, yeah, look at Lumbridge, and you'll notice the f brightness of the floor and the buildings and shadows, and there is a huge difference. So it's just to keep you the um, reality of the sky. You know, you don't have a dark, clouded sky with a bright floor, as if, it, as if it's like um, pure blue sky. <laughs> So this is just a grand exchange. Uh, it's sort of a open, scary area since it's dark. <laughs> Let's just go around somewhere else. So, sort of another reason why. Um, Varak, well I made Varak like this is because it is by the wilderness so the fog and the clouds from the wilderness are going to be much much different if you know what I mean so I don't even know what I'm saying now I'm getting tongue tied the um, clouds from the like wilderness are going to come over to you know, Varak so it isn't going to be a huge difference in the sky so I know it's sort of like it with Alcrid, I don't know. Where is Eridora? Oh, that's really odd. <laughs> that's never... I don't know, I've never seen that before since creating Varrock. So anyways, this is just the Varrock Garden. You know, just nice, dark, gloomy area. You know, you don't want every area to be perfect. So I'm going to go to the last area, I believe. Which is six... And we're at Draenor. Yeah. So, I'm not quite sure if you can see again because of the video quality, but it is actually raining quite hard in um, Draenor right now. It's it's just um, rain on your screen. Yeah, if you rotate it, it rotates as well. So this, I might make it constantly raining in. Um, Draenor, so I can add more effects like puddles and water splash of the rain and sound effects. Um, but I'm not quite sure. I just um, Draenor's one of those cities where it's like um, it's like under threat if you want to see. So you can see the um, clouds. It's sort of like um, it's like um, Farrakh, but much darker. The fog's much thicker. There was um, a problem when I was building Draenor. People hated the fact that it was way, way too foggy. <laughs> but you know, I could make it so you could see everything in the area. But you know, where's the realistic of of that? So you know, so what else I also want to talk about is is you could see um, I buy some huge trees, which are the oak trees. So if I run into the open, to the manor, it's gonna get much lighter. So the trees do make a difference. It says um, dead trees. Their shadows are much, much smaller, and it's much brighter, as you can see. So Draenor has some purple fog around it. Not, um, Draenor, Draenor Manor. You know, just to get that spooky, as yeah, spooky atmosphere. <laughs> yep, so I think that's all the areas. Yeah, six, including Lumbridge. Yeah, so tell me what you think about the visual updates of the cities what I've just shown you. These are the only ones I've done so far. 
it took me um four hours to do um, six areas or six cities and so you know we've got like 250 areas in total now I'm not going to make everything totally different <laughs> but just yeah just comment on if you like this or not if not then just suggest what you think could be better you can see it's turning at night now these suns going down, it's getting much much darker. Let me just skip time a second. Let's skip to three hours. See Draenor at night. Yep. You can see Draenor's much much darker. It's yeah. Uh, it's got the moonlight going through the clouds now. I don't know, it's still raining though. Because I just changed the time, not really realistic time. So yeah. I like Draenor at night. You know, you got the uh, house lights on and such. Let's just skip it a bit more forward. This is midnight. So let's go that. It's much, much brighter at night now. So I want to keep that. Um, so if I kept it the same as daytime, nighttime would just be pure pitch black. <laughs> but I think Draenor is much nicer at nighttime with the clouds. The ginger, I don't think there's a jail guard here. Yep. You know, there's still dangers around. <laughs> so, yeah. Like I just said earlier, just comment on what you think and, you know, thanks for watching and. Stay tuned for more videos.